pleasure. My name is Uwe Kuba and I'm Vice President for IoT Enablement uh, within SAP. So my presentation was mainly about what IoT, Internet of Things and machine to machine means for enterprise applications. So I think uh, the technology is now really mature enough to build real mission critical business applications um, on top of this technology and this is what I try to transport in my presentation. So I think um, the most value for our customers um, will be in optimizing their business processes with why, why going uh, for, or knowing what is going on in the real world. So they have real-time transparency of what is going on in, in the physical world. And this allows them really to optimize their business processes, for example, in a smart vending domain, right? I just know what is going on on my vending machine. I have the real-time inventory of it, and of course I can use this information to optimize the replenishment process. Secondly, I think um, for many of our customers, the technology might really bring very new business models, right? So we see a trend that they go from product more and more to, to service. They do not sell the product as such, but they sell more service around that. In order to do so, they have to know what is going on with their product so they, they can offer these services. For example, um, if we talk about not selling the product, but more leasing it, then you might um, charge your customers uh, depending on the hours of operation that it used that, that uh, equipment. And therefore you need, you need that an IoT technology to know how long the, the, the asset was really used. So um, usage-based billing, all these kinds of new business models, I think that's also a big advantage for our customers. So the business processes and the applications is, is primarily, I think, the key. The second piece is then the technology platform that I also talked about in my speech. Um, and there we see, of course, um, first of all, an advantage for ourselves so that we can um, more easily build such applications if we have such a platform. But we also plan to open this platform up for our customers or uh, also uh, independent software vendors who could build their applications on top of such a platform. And finally, we can even uh, imagine to sell such a platform as some kind of an outbound OEM to telecommunication companies, for example, who could then use um, this platform to offer such platform services to their customers. So I think there's a lot of facets um, and, and really big business opportunities in this technology. So as I said, I think uh, the, the main value will be in optimizing existing business processes. And there we see uh, all the industries that have heavy high value assets deployed, right? So for example, oil and gas industry, manufacturing industry, mining industry, because they really have these very expensive assets and remotely monitoring them is a lot of value already, right? Next is then of course the whole logistics domains, transportation and logistics, fleet management, these kind of applications. But it also goes via retail, really down the whole path into consumer um, kind of scenarios, home automation. But those we see maybe um, on a little bit mid to long term perspective. The, the very first um, target industries I think are for this technology are, as I said, the heavy, heavy asset industries. So I think this MTM World Congress 2014 is right on the spot, right? So everybody's talking about the topic. And it's really great to see how many people come together here to discuss this. It's the right players, um, all the technology providers are here, applications uh, providers are here. So I, I really enjoyed being here the two days and it, it's a great event.